Hi. Who are you? Oh, it's a bit of this, should be a this should be a one ticket walk. If we may yeah. not. Yeah. If he turns up. Do we enjoy that? We're we're right. Just going to go straight over and pull up here, I say. So he's supposed to be here. I said, oh, pass, and it is 31. So. He is. Is he there? He's on the car, he's on the car park. Is he? Uh, I'll just say the towel bit I'm thinking on. Oh, is another one? Yeah. Noon, noon Bridge. Ah, oh, right, okay. Oh, a bit of off-roading. I'll be careful. <laughs> How you doing? You all right? You been here long? Oh, that's all right then. That's Dave. Oh, yeah, nice to you. Matt, you're the one at the back's pool. All right. Yeah, yeah. Clear? No. Yeah, we are. Okay? Yeah. All good. All good. Whoop. No, I'm in bloody boss now. All good. So you pull up this hill, no problem whatsoever. Oh, I'm in fourth gear. Yeah, I mean... Look, can you just fly? I'm in fifth. Oh, we're getting flashed. Did you see that? Getting flashed then, yeah, it's flashed. There must be coppers up here. Yeah. What speed is it on here? Yeah, it's in a sign, that's the crafty part, isn't it? Uh, uh, 60 we know size. 20, it's 25 round the bends, it's saying. Is it now? But it's, that's just a warning, I don't think it is, I think it's 60, but they say do them uh, at 25. No, I, think, I think it's 50 round here. Aye. He just said to me, didn't he? He said the cop was about. Yeah. Speed camera, so. Ah, oh, 50 mile an hour. Okay. It's enough. Yeah, 50. 50. Yeah, 50. 50. Where are the buggers hiding then? He is up there. On the left hand side. Ah, oh, there he is. Where? Where is he? Let's that. We all get out of 40 now. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, God. There he is. Just typical of this country, and it always trying to yeah, do yeah. you down. Easy, easy money. Yeah. <laughs> get it over. Get it over. <laughs> get it over. Get it over. Get it over. Get it over. Lost it there to me. Did you? Easily done. Over the line of it. Easily done. Look where you want to go. That's the trick. One down. Look where you want to go. So Dave. Just look where you want to go. Yeah, yeah. Watch the gravel in the middle of the road. Okay, on mate. That one bend. Okay. Oh, I can see it. Come off the bend, and you'll see it. Gravel, watch for the gravel, Paul. Okay, okay. By the farm entrance.
just love this bloody bike. I tell you what, it's great to be able to see out my mirrors as well. <laughs> yeah, that makes the difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that does make the difference. And they work better then. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Well, what was it? What have you got on the end of the ants bubbles? No, nah, no, nah, I put I bought these little mirror extenders. 25 quid. Oh. Bloody expensive for what they are. They just push them out about yeah. two inches. But they just yeah, that's bit, yeah. they do the job perfect. Yeah. Right. I could just see the edge of my arms and everything behind me now. Yeah. Need to drop Brian a text tomorrow, ask him how he is, how he's doing. Oh, I did speak to him the other day. And he all did right. phone me back. Yeah, he's all right. right. He's okay. Uh, everything was all right. Uh, I think, um, yeah, just checking it easy. I think. I think he'll probably have about. I reckon have about eight weeks off myself. Yeah. So he probably just, you know, check yeah. it. Yeah, he's all right. He says fine. So he was out the same day. So yeah. yeah. Seems good. So that's promising. Anyway, at least he's got it done. That's good. Yeah. So yes, hopefully we can, might get him out before the end of the year. Yeah. The season rather, so that would be interesting. That'd yeah. be nice. Yeah, that will be nice. 581 subscribers we got now. Have we? Oh good, that's good then. It's, a, it's slowing down a little bit, not getting them as quickly as before, but it's slowly growing, very slowly. Gravel. Yeah, gravel. Adam. Hey, a car down. This might be the last ride for the Scram this year. I've, I've run out of miles nearly now. Oh, blimey. Wow. <laughs> yes, but you got the new toy, Dave. Yeah, it'll be the, get the uh, miles upon the new toy. It'll be the Interceptor and the new yep. toy. I might have enough for a short ride out on this, possibly. But what I might do, when I bring them up to change the insurance, I might ask them to tweak the miles up on this one a bit. Yeah, you can do, just make it a bit bigger, yeah. Yeah, put me another 500 on. Next year, well, I've done nearly 2,000 on it. I've got 2,000. Yeah. But 1,200 of them were me just running it in. So that's where I've used a, b a big chunk of them up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it don't help because I just love it so much. <laughs> yeah. Just put another five hundred on. Yeah, that'll see me to the end of the year. We'll pull in, pull in over in a second. Take it off to him. Okay, Dave. Okay. All right. Because we would have gone further into Hallow. Yeah. But because uh, of that road, cut that bit off. So I'll. Yeah. I'll. Uh, yeah, I'll stop in a minute. Pull in here. I'm going to pull in here, Dave, just here. Okay. Sounds like a good place. Oh, God. You all right from here? Because we ain't going to... Could I cut that cut because it was shut? I'd have gone round that way in there, so I don't, you know, so. Is that all right? Nice, nice to, to see meet you. Yeah. See you soon. See you soon, go, go. Nice to meet you, mate. You know, if you want to come out again, I'll t I can engineer another one next week, see what the weather's like, and we can probably go back over that all sort of way. Take care. See you later. See you later. Bye -bye. See you. Bye bye. Just follow us now, because I don't think that's going to work properly. Keep wanting to get back to the... It'll probably correct itself, but now where I'm going, I think. Ready? Ready? Yeah. All aboard the Skylark. All aboard the All Skylark. Aboard. Cool. Nice Seem chap. to enjoy it. Yeah. Nice chap. Nice Just trying to... Trying to get him into it. He was looking at Paul's Kawasaki like that. Yeah, he'd be having one of them. I think he liked that because it's a bit more. Because when he, when he had that bike, he was looking at like ZX9s or the thousands and they were sporty ones. Yeah. 
And yeah. I said to his missus, I said, they are one of them. I said, you feel like someone's a bit more like one of them, which is out because it's more of a sports term, right? Yeah. Still yeah. with a, with a obviously, um, sporty feel, but it'd be interesting because apparently all his mates now, they've got rid of him. So it'd be interesting if he'd either keep it or change to summer tell if he comes out with us a bit more. Yeah. yeah it's the first time, first time he's been out this year, that has. Bloody hell. Hey, I'm he back on board. Oh, good. And me, he had them out did last week. Because he's working, he's doing a camper van up as well at home, a big, um, big, uh, oh. yeah, big VW, so oh, he's right. fitting that out as well. So he works as well six days, so he's like, yeah, good chance. So, first time I've been out with him. Nice. Seems to be alright, so. We're surprised the roads around the back of here, mate. These are good. Some of them are absolutely atrocious. Yeah. Now that's small, it's frightening. Yeah. Then yeah, as muddy as that one we went on, that was the worst <laughs> one in the world. That was. That was terrible. Nothing like that. That. that was terrible. Oh no, we are going to this. Have we got to this? No, that's not past. Need the next one. Okay. I'm using my instinct rather than the sat now. So, mind the sand. Turning in a hundred yards or so. Yeah, I'm returning just there. Okay. You carry straight on. I think that takes you to a caravan park down in Altfleet. I think. Right. I'm oh, turning. Good, that's good. It's working now again. Well, I'm booting back in then. Because yeah. you know, sometimes it'll get rid of all the other drop pins, but you've got to keep fighting against it. Otherwise, it wants to take you back to them, but you can't. Yeah. Oh, I'm lighting up either side of the road. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Mine looks like a chip grater, I do, with that flipping mesh on the front. I've got, line, I've got lines on the floor. Mine don't put out enough light to even cause anything to... It's quite good actually in this ravine, it's quite good really. Yeah, <laughs> I can't see a light, I can see a light up the front of the hour, that's it. That's my main beam, that was. Oh, I can see a grid on the floor now. <laughs> see, yeah, the grill on the floor. I tell you what, I've, this year I've had more fun on my bikes than I think I've had for a very long time. Yeah, it is interesting. I've enjoyed it the same, you know. It's That's been good. Having these variety of bikes and trying different lanes and stuff, and it's just uh, I've loved it this year. Absolutely loved it. I think I think life slows down a bit, and it sometimes it is nice just to do some at. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> different. We'll turn in a minute. 130 yards. This is like the rich part of Ombersley. Yeah. So it's a bit like Blackheath. Is people don't want to say they live in Blackheath when they live in Owls or anything, don't they? Yeah. 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 So we're going up here now. If you get straight on, that takes you back into Ombersley, that does. Yeah. And you can turn right in, which, I think, which takes you down to a pub called the Fruiters. Oh, I've heard of that. The, the Fruiters on the right here, but I'm going to get past it. But it's supposed to do all like local beers and things. Uh -huh. It's around this bend, I think, in a minute. See them all posh with the cars again. Yeah. But these houses, bloody hell. Down there, turn right down there, the fruiters are down there. Okay. Pub. Nice pub pool, that is, it's like that. You can get to it off yeah. the main road. Oh, I've heard of that, the, the fruiters. Track, so it's, uh, yeah, the fruiters, yeah. If you come on the 449 from Omsley off the motorway, yeah. you, can go, yeah. you, can turn, yeah. you can turn into it there. There's a pub called, the, used to be the reindeer. It's a clothing yes. place or a shed place now, it's up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, up it, we're going to turn left here. Okay. That's it, we're on the road now. Cutting all green this is. I thought I'd missed it, but I ain't. Two mile on this day, and then we come to the end, virtually. You'll come right by where the shop is in Cutting all green. Yeah. You'd never knew this road. I come in in the van the one morning, and I was coming down this one road, and I thought, oh God, the pin was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go on the grass. The bed. Country lanes at twilight. Yeah, lovely. You say this is a nice little cut through the cut to the corner off this is. Yeah. Look a little one to think of. Now we're gonna see we're gonna we'll fly past the crocodiles. Alright. Everybody alright? 
Oh. Hey, everybody, okay? Yeah. yeah. It's all right, just because the lights, you're happy going down, because that's how kind that road is anyway. Yeah, well, right. You know, that's, that's, that's civilised. I did dinner at night. Nothing scared Aye. me. I did dinner at night, didn't I? <laughs> oh, of course you did that. And the, uh, and the, uh, oh, Hellfire Pass. That's it. I did that. The first time I've ever got twitchy bum time was because I was running out of light and the road was just yeah getting narrower. And, I used to uh, like night time riding, I had. I used yeah. to love it because you can seem to see more. It's not properly dark. Yeah. But, yeah, loved it. I like to get the senses tingling. That's it. Makes you feel alive. Yeah. Oop, tracked that. I tell you, I, I was watching John Cleese on an interview with Michael Parkinson uh, the yeah. other day, and it was obviously where he got his inspiration for uh, for the uh, Basil Fawlty character. Yes. And he was yeah. talking about this hotel they were staying in, like the Monty Python team, and uh, Eric had left his briefcase, um, and they'd got out for the day filming, and come back, and uh, he said. Uh, have you seen a briefcase? He's going, yes, yes. This is the, this is the guy that he based Basil Fawlty on. Yes. There's a, uh, well, uh, did you, uh, what, did you do anything with it? Yes, yes. What, what, what? I did something with it. Yes, what? He said, well, can you tell me what you did with it? He goes, yes, I put it over there behind the wall. He says, uh, well, why have you put it behind the wall for? He says, uh, I thought it could, might be a bomb. He says, uh, and this was before the IRA, he said, before the times of the IRA. Tap, tap. And he said, uh, why don't you think it was a bomb, could be a bomb? He goes, I've had a bit of trouble with the staff just lately. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. If I can find it again, I'll send it to you. Oh, God, that's funny. The inspiration for the, for the character. And he ran the hotel or uh -huh. something in Torquay, I think. He ran a hotel down there, and the Monty Python team oh. stayed there when they were making the films, and that's where... Uh, John, please got the idea to uh, of the, the character the from. Towers. And then I was watching uh, another one with Les Patterson. Remember uh, Les Patterson? Oh yeah, oh. I've seen I've seen that program that was on. And he's, uh, yeah. with, with, he's on about his dog. Anyway, he's, uh, oh. his dog's his dog's not coming. He's talking. Uh, he says, "Yeah, I've got a bit of trouble with my dog or his wife, Dame. Uh, what is it, Lady Patterson?" He says. Uh, I do the realm, enjoy. That's it. So the dog's not responding to it to uh, my commands. Ah, it probably uh, needs the uh, needs the hair clearing out of its ears. He says, so go down to left, the. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to go left here, not right, Paul. So don't worry, because it'll be a better road. Right. Okay. Sorry, carry on. So he says, uh, I'll go to the uh, go to the chemist and get yourself some uh, hair remover. <laughs> left, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He says, go and get some hair remover uh, and use that on the dog. He says, so this is uh, my wife, Lady Patterson. She went to the, to the chemist and the chemist says, uh, whatever you do, if you use it on your legs, make sure you use plenty of water. And if you use it on your arms, make sure you use plenty of soap and water. He says, uh, and if you use it uh, on your face, then, uh, you know, you really need to clean, get it washed off as quickly as you can. See, well, actually, it's for me schnauzer. So, well, I suggest you don't ride a bicycle for at least a couple of weeks. He's <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're just brilliant, <laughs> these old, these good people. The old gags, mate, are brilliant. So, where am we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we am. No, you do. Honestly. Yeah, I don't know where we am. Honestly, we should do Chazzy Corbett. Yeah, we're coming into Chatsley. Uh, I've, uh, we're into Drake, Jason, uh, Drake, you, know what, you know what yeah. I'm like for directions. Right, and now we're going to come into. Takes me back to my younger days, but riding in the dark, coming home from work in the dark. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, usually freezing cold and pissing me rain, though, a lot of the time. Uh -huh. I said it used to involve uh, me um, freezing oh, cold and pissing down the rain. 
had my red leather jacket on one night and it absolutely chucked it down. Or I mean, fucking chucked it down. And uh, when I got, I got a t-shirt underneath it. When I got home, I took it off. Oh. I, I was red. I was all, red. The diet, yeah. all the dye, all the dye gone yeah. through out of the uh, leather. Oh my god! And I bought that leather wow. jacket from Superbike City on Bristol oh, Road. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. On the Bristol Super Road. Where, yeah, that's by Kings in it as well. There's Kings there as well on the Bristol Road. That's it, and the Ford Place. Bristol, then you've got Bristol a, Street Motors, Superbike City. That's it. Then you've got a flippy neck. You've got Aylwood and Gills under the Tyburn Motor, I the spaghetti. Yeah. I've got I a. I got a. I've got a picture of myself in that red jacket. <laughs> wow. I, I had my first leather bike jacket. Which was belt staff, and I had it from motorbiking in Bilston. Yeah. It was a little bike shop, and I, I was looking. When I was doing the apprenticeship, they got one of the guys. It was his brother-in-law, so he used to let you pay on the drip for it. <laughs> but I couldn't afford it. About ninety-five quid then for this jacket. I've still got it. Still oh, got the jacket. Yeah. That's... And um, I had, uh, I had an alpine off him as well for me flipping two pigs head. You know what I mean? So I had, yeah, helmets off them for yeah. really good price and everything at the time. It was a great little shop. Opposite uh, Magnum is still used to be in Bilston. Then Magnum went to Wolverhampton. That was opposite, opposite a place called Silver Machine that did all the day and easy clothing. Yeah. Well, I ain't been there for that long, so I don't even know whether they ain't there yet now. Yeah. I, yeah interesting, isn't it? But still, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you somewhere that was brilliant. You'll probably remember it. If you go down West Bromwich High Street towards Carter's Green, and you flowers or peplows? Peplows. As I used to get a car. Peplows, scoot used... scooters, and Kawasaki. Bloody and stuff hell! Because like I used to peplows on the corner. That's the corner it. I used to yes, go to college there. I used to go to West Bromwich College. I went and... to West Brom College. And he used to. You could go over there, and if you needed a part for your bike, uh, he'd go upstairs. And nearly every time I ever went in for something, he'd come down with that part. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to assume what the upstairs of that place looked like. Hair blows. Well, I went. And, um, what did I say it was? Hair blows. Hair blows. Now, hold on, you've gone on. Did you, what was the one? It was Pep blows. Now, it was something else. Roy Pep blows was in Wensbury. Hold on, Roy Peplows is in Wensbury. Bloody hell, Brian will tell you where it is. Roy Peplows in Wensbury. Roy Peplows ran out my first bike from in Wensbury. Yeah. That was called. Oh my God. <coughs> Brian knows because you remember he went to uh, used to take his bike there, I think. You know the one on the corner, don't you? Yeah. Know, it was on the corner. The corner used to sell scooters. Yeah. And then latter part, he sold uh, the Kawasaki's and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, bloody hell, because you got Bob Joyner on the Birmingham New Road. Yeah, that's you? it. That's it. Tex G's for then your you tyres. Tex G's, then you got Copes's, scattered my, all around. I had my first three bikes from Copes's. Bloody hell. Uh, was, well, Copes's, he was my the mate's was on the, uncle. The one's where Majestic is now, isn't it? That's where yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. There used to be, and there's one, there was one in uh, Dudley, which is now DMC. That yeah. then went to be street bike, because Kawasaki City was the one in West Bromwich, which was owned by the the people who destroyed bike. Yeah. And they went to Dudley. There was a Kawasaki city in Sally Oak as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, just to find out what that one's called now. It, oh, uh, it was um, yeah. shit in Carter's Green, yeah. Yeah. Now. I, somebody took me little uh, adjuster for the clutch and nicked it off me uh, GSX 250. And I went yeah. over there because I needed to get home. Went in there, told him what I wanted, disappeared up the stairs. Five minutes later, Daddy come with the exact part. Because them GSX 450s was nice, wouldn't you have a blue one? I had a 250, GSX 250, yeah. I had a red one. Because they did a 400. Was they did do a 400, yeah. yeah. I loved that bike. Well, it's well, it's got eight valves. Oh, right had one of them. 16 valves, mine was. I wish I'd never sold it. Eight valves, sorry. Yeah, there was an eight yeah. valves. I wish I'd never sold eight it. Valves. I yeah. really regret the day I sold that. So I think the 400 was a 16 valve. Yeah, 16 valve the 400, because you got two more cylinders. The 250, the, yeah, the 250 was a... 
Yeah, I remember them. I was rocking, we might have run, I was rocking all of it. It was lovely, the shape of it and everything. Oh, that's what I loved about it, the shape. Oh, a shape tank, yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Oh, you know, you've got something you wish you hadn't sold it. Well, I sold yeah, it to yeah. buy a mini. Oh, and I just, yeah. and, uh, I wish I'd, wish I'd never done that. Ah, oh, GPZ 550. I had to sold it to get married. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I, I'll ask Brian what the name of that shop was. I'd love to know. No, we've got to find him, Brian. Or no, I'll try and call him tomorrow. It's a uh, flipping neck. Um, yeah. It was yeah, because we used to go in there. Right, like a... We lived in. I lived in. I lived in on top. You see, so I walked out from there. I knew. That's why I knew you'd know it. Thought you'll know that. Because Pepper was where I went. The other one is. Uh, oh my God. Well, mate, had a Lambretta off from brand new. Mark, yeah, Mark, the bricklayer had a Lambretta off from Edith. Yeah. He had one of them. I have to find out that is now. Uh, didn't Bob join us? The clothes. Ooh, we've got to get on to this now. That's interesting. Yeah. So when were you at West Brom College? I need to be a couple of years. I went to me, West, West Brom College in 1980. I was 80... Until like 80. 80 80, 80 83. 82 I was, so we would have crossed uh, paths probably. Probably did. 80, probably did, because uh, I was at, we used to, they had a bike park round back. If you went past the college and turned right, yeah. from Carter's Green, through the lights where the West Bromwich Building Society used to be, and turn right, there's a there's a bike place there, you could park down this little narrow bit. We used to stick me, that's how I got into bikes, because the one chap there, Neil, yeah, the one mate Neil, he had a, he had a GSX 250. He was a chippy there on, from the council, and that's how I got a travel bike. and just yeah. picked the bloody wrong bike. Uh, where that's we, what I, I got into it. Yeah, we used to, to for parking, you'd turn left into Lodge Road by the town hall, and then yeah. immediately right into this like little that's through it. a gate. That's it, parking, a little narrow little gate, and it yeah. was like red brickwork. That's it, and there was... To park him down there, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. And there was this lad that, he was, he was always, he, he had a, uh, he was always, he got loads of different bikes, blonde haired kid. Uh, and he would, uh, he'd come in, or he had a, he had a kettle, he had a GT750, and uh, oh, right. he, uh, he, he drove it into the back of an ice cream van. Hey. He was a mad bastard. Oh, wow. And he was only tiny, and he was absolutely, on this, you know, a GT750 was a big bike to a small person. Yeah. And uh, he was on that, and I used to uh, park me, uh, my uh, RD50, my GP100, and my uh, GSX250 in there. Wow. Oh. Uh, so some, I wouldn't have, uh, somebody nicked me, me uh, the clutch adjusting screw, uh, oh God. and that's why I had to go over the road to that to the the place's name I can't remember and buy a new one. And he, he went upstairs, come back down with one. Where was he Perry's? Perry's. Perry's, that's Perry's, it. Perry's, that's it. Perry's. 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 Oh, Perry's, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll go over to Perry's, Perry's, he'll have one. That's it. Perry's, Perry's, that's it. He was there long after Peplow's went. Yeah. And a lot of them, he did stick it out for quite a time before he went. So, uh, yeah. Because Peplow's, when I first got my bike, I picked it up on a Saturday morning. I put it in a van. Took me to all Brighton School, you know, down in Albury. Yeah. Onto the onto the school c c playground. Yeah. Where they rode it round the circles for about two hours, and then they went, "Okay, you're all right now, ta-da." Left me. <laughs> and it was a tra never rid a bike before in my life. I don't know how I got out. <laughs> Fantastic. And I couldn't ride for toffee. I don't know how to use the gears and nothing. My mate Mark. Um, Another chap, he'd always had bikes since he was a kid, greases and everything off road, and he, he got a, a, an X5 at the time. And I'd been to school with him and never really bothered in the bikes, and then we got together and he taught me how to ride and how yeah. to use the gearboxes and everything. And I just progressed from there, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I'll tell you what, I bet we probably walked past each other while at that yeah, uh, probably West have. Bromley College. Yeah. It's funny, that is, yeah. That is funny. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. I missed the one. I think I missed the I missed the one year because I was working away all the time. And the, 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 yeah. they did pass me in the end. I did get me city and guilds, but they knew the job I was doing. Yeah. I was never there. A load of crap anyway. Yeah. And it was just like I learnt more with the blokes I was working with because they had such a variety of flipping. Uh, yeah. I'd spend like twelve months in the joiner shop and then in the cabinet yeah. making, and you'd be outside and you'd yeah. be out with the bricklayers. So you'd be doing everything. Yeah. That's where I burnt the uh, veins out the back of Michael Fenton's hand, that was. 
the uh, we used to, we were doing gas welding downstairs underneath on the front of the high street. We did gas welding, yeah. and you'd, you'd what you'd do you'd have your gas torch, wouldn't you? And you'd uh, so you'd have your gas, you'd set it all up your oxyacetylene, and then when you you'd have like a little naked flame by the side. So when you when you were right. when you were setting up, you'd put your torch on like this hook, and the hook was a valve, and it closed the gas. So when you took your torch off again, then. You'd, you'd relight it with on. your little naked flame. Yeah. And what Michael Fenton would do, the, uh, he, he did it to the wrong person with me though. He would come along while you were welding, and, he, and he, he'd knock your gas off while you were welding. He'd push the little lever down that knocked your gas off. Uh, yes. And I saw his hand come to do it. So as he did it, I put the gas torch on the back of his hand. Oh my God. Yeah. Oxyacetylene gas torch straight onto the back of his oh. hand. I did. Jesus. So, uh, well, he, uh, he he never bothered messing with my stuff again after that. <laughs> we'll have to have a, a, an evening of reminiscing about things we've done. Your turn next, Paul, because you haven't been involved yeah. in this very much. We need to know what you got up to I'm as a you. teenager. I'm, li- I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm you can tell in. us. You can tell us next week, so we'll have a nice story on our way back, like a bedtime story yeah. about how you started your journey in life. Our, our, our listeners, um, our, our viewers, and our uh, you know people that like our nonsense, they can uh, they can listen to what else we used to get right. up to. Yeah, I'll have to have a think of some of the uh, things I used to get up to at college and stuff. You said those all count, so when I was there, that was the only private one, a lot of them dropped out. I used to go to sleep. I, click I, used, to, I used to go to sleep, oh, I didn't go to sleep, I fell asleep uh, on the afternoon lessons. Well, we all did, because we'd all been in the pub. That's it, we always used to go to pub for lunchtime, yeah. I, I don't know how the hell I, the time I, of I, the hell I passed that, uh, them modules, I ain't got a clue. And he it's just ca- of Dexys, was it? He just carried on lecturing. Yeah. I was still snoring most of the time. And he just carry on. Okay. He was boring though, to was, be fair. Uh, I can't remember much about it, I can't. Uh-huh. But people, as you say, first year I was there, I think the second year I was there a lot. Third yeah. year I went back and I got my city and girls anyway for... But, uh, yeah. yeah. As you say, so, I was the last one at the company to do it. Everybody else, um, that was on the desk, I did that flipping, uh, what's the name, YTS. YTS, yeah. Stuff like that. Started yeah. doing that then. Uh, see, I wasn't YTS, I was a CITB, I was. Yeah, uh, so I had the last city and girls at the company I was at. £27.50 a week, I got paid to do that. Bloody hell. Ten, uh, co- uh, ten uh, college full time for a year, then I had apprenticeship after that then. Ah. Uh, £27.50 a week, and I had to pay my mum to uh, uh, keep and managed to buy my own. Yeah, that's it. Seven <laughs> quid, I think, and I know I did the same. Right. Started on about... Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. See you later. Enjoyed it immensely. The company's yeah. doing great. Yeah. Thank you so see much. You it, Speak to you tomorrow. See, see you, Paul. Ta-ra, see you, Paul. Ta-ra, 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 Two Pauls and one Dave. Uh, we had a bit of a laugh, I think, there. I'm uh, Gavin. Uh, nice to have met Gavin, somebody, a friend of Paul's. Um, nice to have met him. We had uh, all the nice pie and chips in uh, Tenbury. Been around there a lot the last week or so, a couple of weeks. Just seem to be uh, over there a lot of the time. There's just some great roads though, you can ride them over and over and over again and never get bored. Um, so, thanks again if you came on the ride with us. I hope we uh, entertained you a little bit, made you laugh, hopefully. That's one of our, it's one of the things I want to try and do, is make you smile. Because it's, uh, we all need to smile a lot more. And if we didn't do a little bit of a uh, bit of our nonsense makes people smile, then eh, it's worth doing. So uh, I'll see you all. Oh yeah. Um, take care of yourselves. 
uh, and I'll see you all again soon on another one of our uh, crazy adventures. So until next time, sit on a bit. And I'll